Vermont experienced a significant flood on July 2023. The flood affected many parts of the state, leading to significant damage to infrastructure and residential areas. It destroyed roads, bridges, and flooded many homes and businesses. Many families were displaced, and their homes were destroyed due to the high water levels. The state government declared a state of emergency and mobilized its relief efforts to address the repercussions of the flooding. The Vermont National Guard was deployed to assist in evacuation efforts and help with damage assessment. Local authorities and emergency services worked together to assist those affected by the floods and to provide materials and shelter. The flood caused an estimated $50 million in damages with a majority of the losses concentrated in rural communities. In response to the floods, the state legislature initiated a series of emergency relief measures and financial assistance schemes. Residents were provided with food, clothing, and temporary housing assistance. To help them rebuild, Vermont also established a relief fund to help victims of the flood seek legal recourse from insurance companies. Several nonprofit organizations offered their support as well, providing food, shelter, and financial assistance. Schools in the region were closed due to flooding and to facilitate cleanup efforts. businesses, especially those near streams and rivers, also suffered because of the destruction caused by the floods. The floods also caused damage to agricultural land and livestock, compromising the livelihoods of many farmers. Environmental organizations and experts were quick to take note of the damage done to the habitat and ecosystem due to the floods. Pesticides, fertilizers, and other industrial wastewater leaked into the water, contaminating it and causing health risks. Invasive species also found their way into the rivers due to the floods, leading to a disruption in the local aquatic ecology. Many towns were left isolated due to the roads and bridges being destroyed by the floods. State officials opened temporary shelters to house people affected by the floods, while also providing them with essential supplies such as food, water, and medicines. The flooding in Vermont had a ripple effect and hampered economic activity in the region. To help businesses recover, the state provided charitable loans and other forms of financial assistance. The state also provided incentives for businesses to relocate to less flood-prone areas. Local authorities took measures to prevent future floods by implementing stringent mitigation measures. New flood protection policies were implemented to assist with mapping flood risks in vulnerable areas and identifying areas at risk of flooding. <laughs>